Wobbler. The Brevard the meme. The <laughs> Brevard meme man himself. Except he's not really that much of like a meme man. No, he, he memed pretty hard, dude. Oh, really? He does? Do you remember at uh, Smash House where you were there that day? Saturday morning or like early in the oh, way. Oh, yeah, it was like right. Three, it was like maybe 6 a.m. They stopped they by. They sniped the house. Yeah, they stopped by the house. I don't even know how they found the address. They probably got it from Momo. They definitely got it from Momo. And they like dropped off notes for everyone in like a bag of Doritos. <laughs> And we were so confused at like in the at like ten in the morning when we woke why? up. We were like, "What? Who? Why?" And then, yeah, he's from IRC, and IRC is just as a meme county. Meme county. <laughs> meme county central. Yeah, it was, it was pretty meme. Okay, so my bad. I assumed he wasn't a memer. He's a memer. He's a memer. He's my, apo primers, dude. my apologies, Chad. I'm no plug. Feels bad. Man. I'm feeding you uh, false information. Lincoln Sky versus Starman. This matchup sucks. This matchup low key it's, sucks. It's probably even, but it sucks. I don't think it's even. It, it, it's even, but it's also 70 30 in Icy's favor. I don't think it's even at all. I think, it was a, I think it's definitely advantage Ice Climbers. Nah, it's. But, yeah, I mean, uh, she can play it super duper 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 lame. I'm not sure. I'm just not be like, lie. needle, needle, oh, needle. True, true, true. true. I'm not gonna lie though, my that I'm gonna let my bias be known. Right, meow. Not that huge of a fan of either of these characters. So this is kind of. Sheik's pretty cool. I like Sheik. So like, I don't know. It's kind of cathartic in a way. Just knowing like knowing that like these two player like these two characters have to be like, uh, yeah. this character again. I mean, that, that, they do that to each other. They're like, yeah, oh, exactly. this character. Exactly. Actually, I don't know if Ice Climbers like it or not. So, yeah, she just platform camps with needles, and it's super lame. Uh, oh, he should have been dead. Yeah, though, he should have been uh, dead. Missed the timing on the wobble. Uh, see, now, oh, now, he, now he can't platform camp. You just got to take a lead and platform camp and make him approach you. And it's up. Down, smash arena. All right. GG, Starman takes game one. Uh, Starman takes game one. <laughs> it's, it's, not re it's really like it's that. It's not over yet, dude. Cl clawing back a lead in this matchup of Sheik is super hard because, like, you can't miss space any aerial or you die. Back is really good. You miss space it, you die. True. Even if, like, auto cancel fair isn't safe, dude. Like. Oh no, that must suck. What? What would you do without auto cancel fair? Shut up, you have a sword. I'd cry without auto cancel fair because auto cancel fair is amazing. All right, get this edge guard. There isn't an edge guard to get. But <laughs> so I definitely, I'm not gonna lie. I, I don't totally agree with. Blinking Sky's like you know method of playing this, but I definitely like respect and like it's really. It's how you're supposed I, to play. It's how you're supposed to play. I definitely respect that like he's exactly. like playing to win. Uh, there are a few like if there are a couple like philosophies on how to do things. I personally really like the. I think it's like Fearless's philosophy where he, you know, one time he said to me like I really just don't like Icy's, and I think Icy's play really lame, and I'm totally fine with like laming them out so that way I can continue on in bracket and start playing other fun characters again. And like if that's kind of the way that you feel, and that's if like how you want to justify like, like doing like, the right thing yeah. against you know matchups like this. Oh, he should be dead. That's oh, fantastic. Oh my god, I haven't seen a wobble out from Starman yet. It's really strange because he's had a couple opportunities. Yeah. He keeps going for like weird chain grabs or whatever, and he should just you know press that A button a couple times. Is Cobalt here? Cobalt's not here. Cobalt's not here. He's just getting back from UGC. Where is he? Where was UGC? St. Louis. So, uh, yeah, he's playing the matchup right. He is circle camping and making ICs come to him. And he's got a lead, so, like, oh, figure nothing eight wrong camping. with it. What? Figure, figure eight? Yeah, Harry calls it figure eight camping because they just make a little figure eight between the two side platforms. He's got the top platform, too. The top platform is the best place to be. He's making the, their Cloud9 symbol camping. You know what I'm talking so about. Oh, here's the bottle. Here we go. There we go. Starman's like, oh, I don't like this no more. I don't like this. Here we go. Hey, here we go. Got you. I need to find some songs that are 200 BPM that I can just blast whenever uh, Ice Climbers can come on. So, I, think, oh. I think some Dragon Force songs are. Like, through the Fire <laughs> Lines, I'm pretty sure it's 200 BPM. <laughs> Probably. 
Uh, Somebody look that so, up. So okay, so the other day I was hanging out with uh, I was hanging out with Jay and a couple other people, and at one point we played like a random character crew battle, uh, and I got ICs right. Yeah. And uh, I didn't know that in order to wobble you have to four tilt with Nana, right? Yeah. I didn't know that it was pummel four tilt pummel four tilt on that. It was like yeah. movement, and you had to like you know get like the analog sticks so that yeah. way you got like the tilt. Oh, you can so do that like, or down tilt, huh? Or down tilt. Oh, like I know, but like I still yeah. didn't know that. You know what I mean? So like I like got I got like lots of grabs, and I got like the BPM right because I just like I just kind of like knew it. Uh, and like, every, and, like I think Jay was like, oh my gosh, he's wobbling acoustically, but I never got the wobble. Oh, and then the rage quit. I, no, I seriously want to know if the Viren Flames is a uh, Twitter BPM. It probably is. I think I, you could wobble with that. I'm pretty sure. I, I'm pretty sure it's exactly 200. Anyway. That's the wobble one. Whenever uh, I think of the wobble timing, I hear Diz Kid Boogie doing it because he he clicks really loudly. Yo, let's go. It's actually it 200. Let's go, Dragon Ooh, Blitz. Ooh, dang. Dragon Blitz with the knowledge coming through. Shout out to Dragon Blitz in the chat. Um, speaking of Dragon Blitz in the chat, Starman taking game one. Let's not have to do anything. Wait, what? <laughs> Let's not have to do anything. What are you talking about? Okay. Uh, so he, he's like, I just want to go to a bigger stage. I honestly don't agree with this, to be honest with you. What do you, what would you want to see? I, I would rather see, like, a Yoshi's. Ooh, I kind of like that, too. Because, like, you're going to die when you get grabbed either way. Uh -huh, right. Being on Dreamland isn't going to change that at all. Uh, you're just gonna let ice climbers live longer. Yeah. When you get grabbed, you're getting wobbled 31%. Uh -huh. It's done. gonna be a little harder for them to like. Uh, it's gonna be a little harder for them to like up air you through the platforms. It's gonna be a little harder for them to get up to the top platform. But like, but like, you get grabbed, you're still dying. Exactly. I completely agree with that. And it's still harder to kill them, and they have much more room. They cover more room than you wait with their wave dash. Like, I feel like getting the early, the early nana kills at like 20, 30, 40 percent earlier. With it's fair, real nice. would uh, be much nicer. But uh, that is just for me, a fellow Sheikane who also sucks at this matchup. So. All right, I can see that. Dreamland makes you jump higher, so it's. Yeah. Uh, all right. I mean, yeah. On the opposite side too, like she's gonna get kills from like you know down throw into like forward air and like edge guard. Yeah. Which that doesn't matter which stage you're on because it's super good. I, yeah. I don't know. I'm just I feel more satisfied killing Nana, so maybe that's why I like it better. That is like step number one in this matchup. Yeah. Or you just pick Fox or Peach. Oh, uh, definitely Peach. I've always thought about like having, like trying to develop like a peach for doubles and icy specifically, but I don't know. Martha isn't bad doubles. Yeah, Martha. Like I play a character that's like pretty good. I just kind of like, I just really like the idea that, uh, like in like the top eight characters, there is like that one matchup that is like ridiculously hard, and it's like peach ICs, and it's like it's so fitting that like ICs. It's kind of like that character that has to deal with that. Good. Because like there's a lot of like Icy's hate. It's like oh Icy's blah 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 blah, and then they can just be like oh but Peach. This is looking like our last monthly to be honest right now with all the people who showed up. Yeah right. It's just kind of been a little. Oh, down hold down smash. Too good. All right so. Uh... Should be dead here. No, don't kill Nana. Go Popo. He was super vulnerable, but okay. I mean, uh, Starman's Popo isn't. I wouldn't say amazing. I honestly wouldn't say it's amazing. I find like the best Popos. Uh, the best Popos make it are like really slippery, and they make it like really hard for you to like you know anti Popo them. Uh, that's something. And like every single time I've played Starman, if I can kill Nan, or I shouldn't, I shouldn't say that. I'm not going to talk bad about him on stream. Uh, but you know, he's definitely considerably better when he uh, is together. Why? This is sick. Where'd you get this? Can I have this? I'll buy it from you. Three hundred sixty dollars. It's worth like one thirty, dude. Three hundred dollars and anyway, two talk about this and match. Not a penny Stop. Who <laughs> smells like? Oh no. Okay. Mess up the wobble. 
Can we actually, can we get Jackson to just play a song at 200 BPM behind someone that's wobbling? Oh my god. Too late. They get thrown out of here. It'd be so good though. <laughs> I don't know. Bands, run, 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 run. What's the BPM of the Dreamland song? It's, it's, it's probably like 170. Uh, uh, here, let's look. It's a gourmet race. I definitely uh, play percussion and have like a metronome app on my phone. Are you gonna tap it out? Yeah. You could wobble to it. You could wobble to it. You could straight up. You could wobble to this. I, it's 180 something. Yeah. From what we can tell, uh, which is like the lower bound of wobbling. I thought it was like 160. I thought it was 180 to 220. See, I thought it was 160 to 200. No, 160 is way too slow. Uh, okay. I think 200 is like the median of it. And that's why everyone says 200. No. Oh, that's so spooky. Yeah, so the, like... Oh, okay. Just run away, dude. Just go for the timeout. Wobbles are scary. Wobbles are scary. Kill Nana. Oh, Get right, him! It's looking like curds. Okay. All right. Game three. Let's go. Uh, 184. Yeah, you can wobble to it. Yeah, you can definitely wobble to it. Oh, we didn't know it. We just tapped it out on. Oh yeah, I tap. Yeah, I tapped it out on my metronome. Steel, why do you have a metronome? Because why don't you wing. shut up? And he counter. The counter pick to. Okay, I mean, I guess if your game plan is the platform camp, like this is probably. The yeah, true, 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 true. That was good. See, why did he? He went for the down throw down air when he could have just. Does Does Starman know he has a chain grab? Oh sure. I don't think he's gone for it. Like, Sopo can just chain grab Sheik. Like, having a Sopo in this matchup is actually super important. Because you have an Anana, but you still get like a 50% chain oh, grab. Oh, that's. See, oh, he keeps no. moving these down throw down airs, and we could just. He can literally just go for the down throw. <laughs> Starman on notice a little bit, Remyo? That being said, though, he's definitely up in percent and is looking to take this first stock. What I tell you. Slide in, up smash. Uh, but yeah, I don't think he knows he has a chain grab. <laughs> I don't know if BCM actually has any, or IRC, or where we has any Sheiks outside of Sweet Lou. And Sweet Lou, I don't think he's active right now. He was doing the Shang Grab, so much dropping him. It's not even a hard Shang Grab, though. Like, I could do it right now. It's easier than the Sheik on Sheik Shang Grab, which actually is pretty hard, if you ask me. I'm not gonna lie, I get tilted when people drop. Easy chain grab. All right, so he's sticking to his game plan of camping oh. on the platforms, and I mean that's probably the way to go, since Sheik doesn't really have any amazing moves to separate them. Oh, I feel so. Oh, I'm sorry. My bad. My bad. Stream. Um. It, I feel so that there have just been, you know, a couple of just really poorly spaced aerials on Starman, either at low percentages when he's uh, crouch canceling or on his shield directly. And that's just kind of led to like these big grabs. Uh, like even when he doesn't get the wobble off the grabs, he's still, you know, setting him up for like a really good scenario. Like, I don't know, like the only decent move she gets to separate is down smash and everything else you just have to shield poke one of them. Uh -huh. And hope it happens. Like, I don't know, there's not a good way to do it. Like, I feel like you just want to shield poke Dana and you just want to take her off. You want to guide her off. You're just like, whack, whack, whack. Tear her off stage. How do you feel about grabs in this matchup? Uh, they're scary. They're, they're scary. absolutely terrifying. Really? Do you have to, like, back throw so it hits the other climber? Because none of your other throws have decent hitboxes Really? On them. Okay. So I know, actually, uh, forward throw might too, but it's actually super scary because if you, thought, if like, you miss the grab, you're dead. Like, normally, whenever I play this matchup with uh, Marth specifically, I always like to at least try to mix in some grabs because if you do like a grab immediate forward throw, it's fast enough to where they can't do it. But then again, Marth's forward throw is like stupid fast. Yeah, I think uh, back throw is the way to go, but I'm pretty sure you get hit out of it most really? of the time. I, there's a reason I don't go for it, but I don't remember yeah. why. It's just one of those things where like every single time See, that see, like he's every single time, time like yeah. burn, that blinking sky gets close to Starman, the only thing that he's threatening him with is a hitbox, as opposed to like a grab or a do nothing, uh, or like even like getting better you position. Have, I, no, you know I think mean? yeah, getting better position, charging needles, and hitboxes are the only way to grab is just isn't worth it because your back throw is too slow to put out a hitbox. Two, two. 
though. It's making it difficult for him. Oh, that might be oh, it. Oh, that might be See, it. Oh my god, he keeps going for these down throw down airs. And if, he, if he had the chain grab, like, it would, it would just be over. And there you go. He's capitalizing. He needs to kill Nana off every hit. Kill her. Don't, That'll be it. But don't hit her into her. Like, I've, I've done that once where I where I knock Bobo off stage and go to kill Nana, but I throw him the same direction. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> he just saves her. I'm like, oh, crap. All right, that's that going to be it. it. Oh, he went oh, for the yeah. Nair instead yeah. of the fairer up air. Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay, okay, okay. I don't know why he squall hammered there. I think he could have just floated back to stage. All right, so he's sticking to this camping platform. It's just really scary with, like, up airs and, um, and whatnot sharking the platforms. And Ice Climber's movement on the stage isn't bad. No, they could definitely slip and slide around the platforms. Like, it's not amazing, but it's definitely It's not amazing, not but they could definitely be places quickly. Like, he, he's doing... <gasps> oh. oh, no! If he was at a little over percentages... It would have been a wobble. Yeah, that would have been a wobble. Like, he's doing the right thing. He's threatening with the right hitboxes and forcing the shield to the point where it's poking. But I don't... Okay, oh, that's it. No, that, that should be it. Like it's it. Okay, he lets him Nana back and kill Nana. Oh, no, there, we there we go. And, God, I mean, Starman should have had that if he would have had the chain grab. Like... Yeah. He was he was getting a lot of grabs and he just wasn't capitalizing. He kept going through these down throw down air setups and he was smash jamming out every time. Like it's not a hard thing to smash jam. You just go up and away and then you're out. You're double jump. Yeah. Dang. But, uh, well, he good stuff to a uh, blinky sky kind of bringing it back almost. He, I mean, yeah, he was just biting, clawing away at him. Yeah. Just like that's a hard matchup too. Where's your chain grabs? Literally. It's the freest chain grab in the game. The freest? I don't no, know about no, the freest chain 